Hello and welcome to the online induction of A-Level Maths at Billerswood School. We're very sad that we can't be doing this in person this year, but hopefully this will give you a flavour of Maths A-Level at Billerswood. I'm Miss Meeson, the Head of Maths, and I'll be taking you through this presentation today. First of all, I'm going to take you through the expectations of all students who take Maths A-Level at Billerswood in terms of your preparation for lesson. All students will be expected to bring in one pound in their first maths lesson in order to have unlimited exercise books for the year. We use exercise books for notes and examples so that this will make revision for you much easier throughout the year. We also expect you to bring A4 lined paper, which is used to complete exercises, homework and end of unit tests. You will then take this home to file in your folder at home. All students are expected to have an A4 folder which is kept at home and we will have folder checks throughout the year. You may be given quite short notice for these, so it is expected you keep your folder filed and organised appropriately throughout the year. We will expect you to bring a calculator, pen, pencil, etc. and whatever relevant equipment is needed throughout the year. Details on the calculator needed for a level Maths will be explained on a later slide. We will set you regular homework, as with all your A-level subjects, um, and quite often in maths, this is pre-marked by you. We will tend to mark and give feedback on end of unit tests, mocks or exam questions. You'll be expected to buy your textbooks before you start the course. You will need two textbooks for year 12 and two textbooks for year 13. We will give you more information on these on the next slides you will be needing to bring these in in your first week in September. It is also expected from all A-level students that they partake in independent study, which is above and beyond their homework. In order to be prepared for a September start, you will be expected to complete summer work, which is on the school website. A link is given in the slide. You will need to bring this in in the first week in September and this is so that we can identify any gaps in knowledge and support you when you first join. So what do we offer at Fuller's Wood School in order to support you through your Maths A-Level journey? Well, first of all, we will give you an introduction booklet when you join A-Level Maths, explaining our definition and expectations in terms of homework, independent study and so on. We will assess you using regular end of chapter tests which will help us identify any gaps in your knowledge so that we can address them in later revision sessions. These are roughly every fortnight in the beginning, but as the course gets harder, they will be slightly more spread apart. Every Wednesday after school, we offer support sessions for year 13, year 12 and year 11 students. Every single week, maths teachers will be there and available for you to come and either work in a quiet place or to get some additional support from your teachers or other math teachers in the department. It's something that is very well um, attended by students, particularly in year 12 and year 13, and it's a really good habit to get yourself into, even if you just use it to come and do some of your homework. If necessary, we will put on intervention sessions for those that find the course challenging um, and help you gain additional confidence. This will tend to be later in year 12 and year 13, and only if necessary, usually inviting students who need to attend. We will give you regular mock exams. We have the formal exams as well as our own summative assessments at Christmas, before Easter and during the summer term to assess where you are, give you feedback and provide you with familiarity with exam style questions under timed conditions. You'll have the opportunity to be entered into the UKMT Senior Maths Challenge Many of you may already have taken part in the junior and intermediate math challenges at your current schools. We offer you time on the Tamua paper. This is an alternative to the step papers that for students who wish to attend university and study mathematics is a really, really useful additional qualification to have. We currently run a weekly club for those that wish to sit it and it's something that we really highly rec recommend for students that want to take maths at university. Again, we will run nearer to, uh, towards the time of sitting your exams. We will offer revision sessions after school for students who are struggling with a topic. 
We also put more detailed intervention plans for individual students if they need it. Normally, if you were coming on an induction day in person, we would give you a diagnostic test in June. We would then send you a letter home um, during the summer holidays advising what areas of mathematics you need to revise before starting in September. Obviously, we are unable to do that. Therefore, within your first couple of weeks back, we will be doing a baseline test um, and if we feel it's necessary, place you with a member of staff as a mentor um, for anyone that needs support. We will give you work packs that need to complete and support you in order for you to continue A-level maths confidently. We also have some optional additional textbooks um, run by CGP, um, which we are selling for £5 each. Um, these are not compulsory, these are an additional um, book that you can use to support you through your A-level maths journey. So how are you taught at Bullerswood? Well, in the maths department, we are fortunate that all 14 maths teachers are specialists and are all capable of teaching A-level mathematics. You'll have two maths teachers who will be teaching you separate topics throughout the course. Our class sizes are usually between about 6 and 20 students. Occasionally they are bigger, but we do tend to try and balance these numbers out where possible. Our class time is usually based around theory and examples, sometimes looking at exam style questions, and occasionally looking at practice time, although a lot of that is expected during homework and independent study. We use interleaving and spacing throughout the year to ensure topics are linked, recapped and revised during the two year course. Homework will consolidate what you've learned in lessons and you should expect about a homework per lesson, although sometimes this will vary. There will usually be a few quick questions from an exercise. They may be exam questions on the content, class exam papers or revision for upcoming test. This will generally be considered to be handed in or shown to your maths teacher. On top of homework, all students who take A-levels are expected to partake in independent study. This is outside of your formal homework time, and we generally expect homework and independent study per subject should be around seven hours. It is quite a considerable amount of time practicing and consolidating what you've learned in lessons, as well as revising past topics. This will not be expected to be handed in. However, evidence of it should be recorded in your folders. More details can be explained in, on how you'll do that when you join in September. You will need four textbooks to cover your learning of A-level mathematics throughout year 12 and 13. The two books for year 12 are on this slide and the two books for year 13 are on the next. You will be expected to have the year one book for pure by September and ideally the stats and mechanics book by Christmas, although it may be more useful for you to have it in advance of that. The textbooks are absolutely vital. Most of our homework will be set from the textbooks. Additional resources can be found there, such as online resources to support you, including work solutions for all of the exercises. You will not complete the course successfully if you do not purchase these books. If you are, um, if you meet the relevant criteria, you can apply for a bursary, in which will cover the cost of textbooks, calculators and other resources. The link for other information is attached in the notes below. At A level, you will be expected to purchase the relevant Casio ClassWiz calculator. You may have been advised to get the Casio FX85 GTX for GCSE. This is not sufficient for A-Level. You will need to purchase the Casio FX991EX. You need this calculator because there are additional functions on this calculator which do not occur on the other one. The marks allocated for some of the A-Level questions are expecting you to have this calculator. The main visual difference is that there are white buttons instead of black buttons on the calculator you need when you are purchasing them um, so that you know that you are identifying the correct calculator. They are currently around 20 to 30 pounds online. However, it is worth shopping around. There are quite often deals on these and particularly in the run up to joining in September. 
Here is a brief overview of the maths A-level content. In both year 12 and year 13, you will study pure mathematics and applied mathematics. Applied mathematics covering statistics and mechanics. Year 12 is made up of what would be considered on the AS paper, and year 13 is what then builds on that on the A-level paper. After the year 12 content, at the end of year 12 in 2021, you will take internal end of year exams. These exams do not count towards your final A-level grade, but can help to inform our predictions and references, which may be helpful to those of you who apply to universities and apprenticeships. At the end of year 13, you will take the A-level exams, which cover the whole of the two years content. There are three papers, which are all equally weighted. Paper one and paper two are both pure, and paper three is applied. This content is mixed up from content of both year 12 and year 13. All papers are calculated papers. However, non-calculated practice does make you a better mathematician and quite often can be faster than needing to use your calculator. We will start Pure Mathematics 1 as soon as you join in September. Whilst initially the content has some overlap with grade 8 and 9 GCSE content, it also introduces some new topics, such as calculus, like differentiation integration, and logarithms. In order for you to be successful in A-level mathematics, it's important that you're confident with the following GCSE topics. Indices, thirds, quadratic equations, completing the square, using the quadratic formula, fractions, particularly converting between mixed and improper, calculations with negative numbers, mental and written arithmetic, and algebraic manipulation, so it's expanding, factorising, etc. These need to be like second nature in order for you to be highly successful in A-level mathematics. The applied content for all A-level students is statistics and mechanics. We tend to start this after Christmas, um, and whilst some of it may build on some GCSE content from both maths and physics, the majority of it is new. So in statistics, we look at sampling, data presentation interpretation, probability distributions and hypothesis testing. In mechanics, we look at quantities and units, kinematics, forces and Newton's laws. The applied content brings a new and interesting side to mathematics that you likely won't have had much experience with before. So other than what we've already told you, what do you need to know about A-level maths before you join? Well, the first thing is mathematics A-level is hard. It is one of the hardest A-levels that you can take. Just because you are able to succeed at GCSE without much revision does not mean you'll be able to do the same in A-level. To be successful at A-level, you need to be a hard worker. You need practice, practice, practice. You need to engage with the homework, engage with the independent learning and engage with your teachers throughout the two year course. If you are struggling though, we will be there to support you, but you need to work with us in order to be successful. Independent study is vital. Those students who are the most successful at A-level here are the ones that do all the independent study and listen to their teachers on advice on how best to do their independent study. Being organised is key, being able to know where to go in your folder or your exercise book in order to find your revision will massively help you throughout the course. And as I said before, practice, practice, practice. So in order for you to be able to start A-level maths in the best way in September, here are your summer tasks. You need to get yourself organised and have all your equipment ready. You need to have your textbooks, you need your classes calculator, you need your A4 lined paper and your A4 folder ready to go. You need to complete the summer work on the school website, which again was attached in one of the slides before, and this is due in the first week back. You need to revise the GCSE content. Due to the unforeseen circumstances this year, you will have stopped learning mathematics at a much earlier date than you might otherwise. It is really important that you're revising that grade 7, 8, 9 content, doing old GCSE maths papers and securing your knowledge in the content I described before. Being really strong in your algebra skills is absolutely vital for you to proceed in mathematics and be successful. As an optional extra, 
It is worth doing some outside reading, listening to podcasts and so on that are available. People like Hannah Fry are really good to follow on Twitter and they can certainly pass you on to things that are useful for you to listen to and watch. If you are a strong mathematician and have a real passion for mathematics, then please do consider taking the Further Maths A-Level as well. We recommend this as a fourth subject, so if you are interested, please go and look up the Further Maths A-Level Induction Day session for that as well. Of course, we think it's up there with one of the two best subjects that Villerswood can offer you. Thank you for listening to this presentation, and I hope it answers any questions you have about Maths A-Level at Villerswood. If not, then please feel free to email either myself, Miss Meeson, the Head of Department, or email Miss Goddard, the Head of Key Stage 5 Mathematics, with any queries that you have. In the meantime, have a look at the next few slides and try some sample tasks which introduces one of the new A-Level topics. Otherwise, we hope you all stay safe and enjoy your summer holiday and we look forward to seeing you all in September.